Common Core math is in the United States literally ruined math for a whole generation and beyond. Because what they did, right? Contra. By the way, Hannah, I hope you're okay with factoring. I'm not dealing with it yet. I just want to take care of all that. Right? That's tolerable. Yeah, mask of was horrendous. But uh Contra, they didn't just ruin math for a whole generation. Because what they did they made more than one generation really two three generations illiterate in the language of mathematics so as soon as you do that that generation for the most part not all of them but on average illiterate in the language of mathematics and in canada as well right illiterate in the language of mathematics and those generations grow up and have children of their own now they don't know math right so when their kids come home from school with math questions that generation doesn't know mathematics so it's a perpetual thing it's a very you know we're not supposed to talk about politics on these math streams but it's very uh typical colonial imperialist type of maneuver right because when they take over imperial nations when they take over a land somewhere the first thing you do you take out a certain tradition for two to three generations and then future generations are also lost we we can see that happening with the indigenous population in Canada and the United States right destroyed for a number of generations and left to rot right now they had to build themselves back up and they're doing a fantastic job doing it but it takes a tremendous amount of effort to do it right so common core math was exactly the strategy used by imperial nations to take over lands right i know it's politics i apologize but it is about education right yeah but that's just a part of the system chicho was talking about major underfunding of public education common core is just a symptom yeah what common core is actually good though uh not that i've seen uh, it might be now but when I went to middle school eight years ago, it felt it, it, I felt it was not a good system. I've had uh, encounters with kids who have gone through Common Core and uh, brutal, brutal. I've never seen a good argument against it. Uh, it was a money pit. Uh, I looked at the, how much money was wasted for this whole process. It's centralization of educa education and that's a whole branch whole discussion on its own the textbooks that they sell are just pure garbage that they put together is basically more uh monopolies given to certain institutions to create textbooks to provide to common core which is just garbage right but if you've never heard a ar good argument against it you've never talked to anyone that understood it okay big uh, or big brain most kids have trouble with math instruction is hard uh, not necessarily we, when you say most kids have trouble with math which kids are we talking about are we talking about the kids in canada and united states or are we talking about kids in russia south korea africa france uk south america bolivia brazil venezuela kids where the one thing you have to appreciate is when people say oh kids are having a hard time with math if you look at the statistics oh it's kids in canada the united states are having a hard time with math the ones i've looked at but when i interact with kids from different parts of the world they don't have a problem with math they love math they're pretty good at math right so it's not the kids it's the system 